there's this much smoke. It looks like a big, pretty big forest fire. You just hope. This is in a very rocky part of our district. There aren't any homes. It's also on a steep slope, so it kind of looks worse than what it is. But those flames are in the middle of somewhere. It's in the middle of my life. It's, like it's I scary. said to the news guys before, I said, I've lived here 27 years right there. Yep. And I kind of been waiting 27 years for this. A little more than a mile west of Evergreen Lake, 50 acres burned. Oh, wow. Forcing more than a thousand homes to evacuate. We live like right next to it, and if the fire spreads, we're screwed. The house is going to burn down, cars are going to get ruined, everything. That's a tough thing for a kid. Oh, I'm terrified. And for adults, too. And I got stopped right here. And I cried because the cop wouldn't let me go by. But they could. Look at, they're going to fight fires. Oh, it's awesome. It's awesome. I'm so happy about this. We have over 20 pieces of equipment, of course, with helicopters, heavy air support. And everyone. Look at this. Got to watch them work. I've never seen something like that before. You see that on TV a lot. And then you go, wow, it's right here in Evergreen. There's sucking water out of the lake right here. Finally, it could rain. Mother Nature decided to pitch in too. Hopefully, may help us, but we're not 100% sure. Not until it's 100% contained. Feeling like we dodged a bullet, but not yet.